Greetings internet, it's Monica and today I am coming at you with a new weekend reading vlog. I'm starting this vlog off on Friday and it is Friday morning. I haven't really done much other than ate some grapefruit for breakfast. Yeah, I'm just outside. It's like I said, it's Friday so I am working. Um, I do like freelance marketing stuff so I have a few hours of that to do today and then my big plan for this weekend is mostly to read. I have the King of Scars live show on Sunday and I'm the only one of the three of us who hasn't finished it yet. And I'm also currently reading um, Tracy Chi's upcoming book that comes out in September. I've heard it compared to like The Outsiders, but it follows a group of Japanese teens during World War II uh, living through internment, Japanese internment, and it's just breathtaking so far. And I'm literally only a chapter in and I like love it so much. So yeah, I've been reading that and those are my two big like reading plans for this weekend. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. <laughs> Hello, so it is a little bit later. It's around lunchtime. I'm currently eating some kimchi fried rice, which is great, lovely. My mom made it even better. Uh, but yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a lunch break. I've just been working on like email stuff this morning, but I'm currently watching Ariel's new video. It's this one all about pandemics and plagues and basically the experience of currently reading about that, those topics right now. And I 100% get that a lot of people, that's not <laughs> what anyone's interested in reading or what a lot of people are interested in reading right now. But I've actually, pretty similarly to her, found that it hasn't really been a horrible thing to read. Like it's it's honestly been in a weird way kind of comforting. Um, Cause I recently read the fifth season, which while not about a plague, is about a, a world where there are sort of consistent apocalypses. Uh, and that was, I thought that was going to be too much for me with everything going on in the world, but it wasn't. It was actually, it just gave me a lot to think about and reflect on. And then also I read, um, someone's mowing their lawn, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. But I also recently read, uh, reread the Diviners series leading up to King of Scars. And the second book is all about a plague and all about especially the racism towards Asian people that are causing the plague according to the media um and that one was like especially like it was happening i was reading it like literally right as the beginning of like covid was hitting new york city and stuff and so like to be in new york city feeling some of that racism while also reading about it was like happening a hundred years ago was truly just wild um but yeah I, I think her video is really interesting i'll link it down below you should definitely go check it out uh so yeah that is my midday break <laughs> hello so i just realized that i have not updated you guys at all today after my lunchtime update um so far today i have made a tiktok <laughs> i've done an instagram live which was quite fun and then i totally failed to save it because apparently they changed their settings for that um and now it's like almost dinner time so i'm gonna eat some dinner i haven't read it all today uh but i'm hoping to maybe play some animal crossing tonight and read some more of the diviners or king of scar king of crows <laughs> King of Crows, read some more King of Crows. Uh, that's my goal for this evening. I wanna get pretty far into that, so we'll see how that goes. I didn't sleep much last night though, so I'm pretty tired, uh, but today was so lovely. It's just like beautiful outside, so that's been great. <laughs> Hello, so I'm currently hanging out with Pooh Bear for watching Search WWW, which is already so good. Really into it. Sorry. Ow! 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 Sorry. <laughs> you look like an E girl. <laughs> You know, it's kind of, it's not a bad look. I mean, go show the stage. I don't want your love. Don't come to me now. I don't want your love. Don't come to me now. I don't want your love Don't come to me now I 
the store, went to the grocery store for some random things. Um, and now I'm going to continue with my reading. I have like half the book left to finish, which I think I feel really confident in being able to do today. Um, I think I'm gonna make some strawberry milk because I love me some strawberry milk. So it is a little bit later and I just got finished eating dinner with the fam and I thought I would do a quick update about where I am in King of Crows. I'm a little bit further than halfway through right now and I'm really loving it so far. I will say I was a little bit nervous because I knew that this one wasn't going to be set in New York City as much as the last ones were, um, but I, I love it. It's very much so a journey book. I don't want to give spoilers away for what's happening because obviously it's the final book in a series, but <laughs> um, it's a journey book and I think it's really cool to see, you know, how everything that has been or, you know, I think it's been really interesting to see how everything that's been building up in New York City is sort of also having an impact in the rest of the country and also just being able to because it's such I feel like the whole series is such a look at like the ghosts of America and the horrors of America's past and so it's good to actually get out of the city and, and go into other parts of the country um, in more depth which I think is really cool and just to like see different characters be matched up who normally aren't you know uh, I think that's been really fun with it too and just like how those characters get to know each other so I've been loving that element of it I feel like every time I read this series though I'm just filled with so much like awe of like how amazing Libba Bray is at writing but also like frustration at how slept on I feel like this series is and how amazing it would be as an adaptation like as a, a mini series or not even a mini series. I like want multiple series each season for each book. <laughs> Alas, this is not the gift we have been given as Di Diviners fans. Uh, but yeah, I've been really enjoying it and I'm hoping to finish it off tonight. So I'll let you know how I go with that as I continue. <laughs> have not much left in this book and I'm getting a little bit stressed about how little has been resolved so yeah hello so it's a little bit later I came inside to read because it's now first of all I'm blurry why is that happening I thought I would listen to my audiobook while doing some coloring I've been using this app recently I'll see if it'll focus see if I could close it and I'll show you it's called lake they basically get different independent artists to create coloring sheets for them so there's just lots of really cool art options within it so I've been really enjoying this one and it's a cool way to support independent artists um, it is free but I have the paid version and I'm currently doing this drawing by Gigi Knight, who's one of my favorite artists. So I've been doing that whilst listening to the very stressful ending of Diviners. I mean, King of Scars. I mean, King of Crows. Oh my God.
Well, I'm broken. Good morning. My mom is making some kimbap. A lot of festival this time, honey. It look good, right? Mm-hmm. I got her to make me a roll with extra daikon, which is my favorite, so a good day. So I'm currently getting ready for the day. I have the Diviners Club live show in just a few hours. So I'm getting ready for that. And I'm really excited to discuss the King of Crows. I loved it so much. I finished it last night, as you guys saw. I didn't really want to talk through my thoughts on it then just because um, I was tired. And I don't think I could have put together words properly. Uh, but yeah, I really loved the book overall. I haven't looked at like reviews of it yet. I don't want to, obviously I don't want to give spoilers for it, but you know, just looking at the synopsis, you know, it's going to be a journey book. And what I love so much about that is that you really get to just like, it's a lot more focused on just like the characters and not that the other books weren't, but that's something that I love about all the books, that they're so focused on character. But I feel like even more in this one it is, and it's really cool just to see like which characters got paired up at the beginning because they're characters who normally wouldn't have a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time. So I really liked that part of it, and yeah, I mean I love a good journey book, and just like the fact that, you know, so much of the, the book takes place in... New York City so to actually get outside of New York and see how all of the stuff happening in the last three books are affecting the rest of the country and just you know getting to see the rest of the country in this book that is you know a ghost story about America I thought was really important and I th I think really well done um so yeah I don't know I loved it so much I thought the ending was such a perfect end for this series i'm not gonna say anything more than that but i loved it i cried for like the whole last chunk of the book uh i was very very sad but overwhelmed with emotions it's wild i've been reading this series for like a decade now i want to say so yeah that those were my thoughts on the king of crows we're gonna do the live show today on emma's channel so if you want to see our thoughts more in depth that will probably be live um, or like uploaded on her channel so you can go watch that if you've read the book and you want more thoughts on it that are more spoilery I just I don't want to spoil people in this video um, but yeah I was really enjoying that so hi friends hi. we just finished up our diviners live show which was thrilling Hello. the end of the diviners club Yes. So <laughs> I just wrapped up the live with Emma and Sarah and it was so much fun. It's wild that it's come to an end because the Diviners Club has been a part of my life now for like a half a year. So yeah, it was, it was so much fun just getting to read the Diviners with two of my best friends and then also getting to discuss it with so many of you guys who joined in and honestly it meant so much to me that like every time I saw someone post about how they picked up the diviners because of the read-along that was always just like made me so excited because it's a series that is like such a passion of mine it's one of my favorite book series of all time I really enjoy the lives because it's just nice to be able to like talk out a book with people you know like it makes me think about the novel in ways that I wouldn't have before like for me when I read it I didn't even think about the fact that like you know the last chunk of the book is pretty rushed um and for me I was just like like I just didn't even care um but then upon like further reflection I'm like oh yeah that was like pretty rushed and like it, it like brought out little things that I I don't think I would have noticed as much had I just been reading it on my own which I think is normal we all sort of go into books with like different expectations and um things that we pay attention to um but i really always love like leaving those discussions with like fresh ideas about the different characters and everything so i really enjoyed that overall i really did love the diviner series and the final book like i think for me the final book is probably going to get like four stars on goodreads it's definitely not my favorite conclusions are never my favorite to be honest um, i i feel like i'm never fully satisfied i'm very rarely fully satisfied by conclusions but 
it is still the weekend it's sunday uh, and i decided to pick up sheets which is a graphic novel that actually i ended up getting at book expo last year i want to say um so i've had this for a little while and i've been meaning to read it for ages it was in my top five or my five star reading predictions video so i just decided to pick it up today and i'm really enjoying it so far i'm only a few pages into it but uh, it's the art style is absolutely beautiful and a lot of it is sort of from what I'm understanding kind of a com contemplation of like loneliness and um, grief and all of that so so far I'm really enjoying that hello okay so I'm back already I just finished sheets it was really really cute and lovely it's just like a simple short story again the art is absolutely beautiful like just the color all the colors are amazing um like i said earlier it's it's basically a story about loneliness and grief it's about this girl who is working her family's laundry mat her mother has passed away and her father is pretty deep in depression and isn't really able to function um and so she's sort of taken a lot, a lot of the responsibility and she's getting pressure from this guy in town to sell the business to him um and it's about her just trying to keep it all afloat and then you have wendell who is this little boy who is a ghost who is just trying to he's you know just really lonely and just trying to find a friend uh so yeah i don't know i really enjoyed it overall it was really cute so if you're looking for just a cute simple happy heartfelt story i think this is definitely one to look into i think for me i'm going to continue reading some more of tracy tracy cheese we are not free because i really liked that um i only read up to the second chapter so I'm gonna continue on with that one next I think so it's a little bit later I have changed into this sweater because I was a little bit cold it says bookworm on it and has Matilda so it's a new fave for me it's very cozy but yeah I've been reading more of we are not free by Ch Tracy Chi and honestly just trying not to cry like every single page um, it's so beautifully written and I love like just all the character perspectives that we've gotten like it basically every chapter is from a different character's perspective basically it's about all these Japanese teens who are living in San Francisco and they are being forced into Japanese internment and I've never really read anything from the perspective of teens living through that honestly i don't think from the perspective of anyone living through japanese internment so um for that alone this book has been really eye-opening of just like what that experience was like because i think you know we cover it in u.s history but i don't think we really cover it you know uh so yeah it's it's been a really difficult reading experience just reading it um like emotionally but it's absolutely beautiful and I can't recommend it enough. I mean, I haven't finished it yet, so, but I can't imagine <laughs> disliking it by the end, but it is definitely just emotional and it's not even like, I mean, so far nothing like horrific happens. Um, it's just like the sadness of it. You know, I think for me, what's so distinct in what she's able to write is how she is getting across just like, the devastation the, like the heartbreaking feeling of it and i am like definitely feeling that while reading it so yeah i'm really liking it and i will definitely be picking up the reader series after this because i am absolutely floored by her writing someone's mowing their lawn so i'm gonna stop vlogging hello pals so it is the next day and i thought i'd come on here just to wrap up my reading vlog since it is the end of the weekend i read two books well completed two books i finished king of crows which i loved the end of the diviners series truly the end of an era for me and also read the graphic novel sheets which i really enjoyed it was just a really cute graphic novel reading experience and then i am halfway through with we are not free by tracy chi which i'm still just adoring with all my heart it's so good uh, i'm hoping to actually finish that one today possibly but i have a feeling it'll be five stars because it's just brilliant it like honestly feels like the kind of book that like just feels classic and i want it to be a book that people read like in school i feel like it needs to be one of those but whew, i just love it a lot it's got me almost crying quite a bit 
so yeah that is the end of my reading vlog i'd love to hear from you guys what you've been reading recently let me know in the comments and i'll talk to you guys next time bye